Hi, I'm Jake Allen. Now for those of you who have been following my channel for a very long time or even new to my channel, you probably know by now I am a huge movie fan. So if you would watch if you would watch my channel, you would notice that I don't just review movies that came out a couple years ago or even just come out this year in general. I review movies that go all the way back. In fact, the oldest film that I ever reviewed on my channel is A Trip to the Moon. And A Trip to the Moon came out in 1902, a time where planes were just invented, but they were not really used, and cars were rarely seen. So they were able to put together this this fantasy movie of what it'd be like to go to the moon. Now, and when you watch the movie, you're thinking to yourself, yeah, they're not doing anything correct. They're not using a rocket ship. They're not using science. They're just loading a couple of guys into a cannon and firing it at the moon. How they survived? Well, it's a fantasy movie, so there's, so there's that. But the visual effects and the new designs that they had to put this movie together, I find very interesting, especially in a time when filmmaking was basically one shot and just a couple people doing random stuff. And, and also, I really love the, the changes that movies have to go through over, over time. Like, for example, there was one time where editing was not a thing, and when you watch these older films, you can finally notice that editing was starting to become a really big thing to really, put a, to really put a movie together, to have the story flow a little bit better. And then we get to the time when sound became a thing. Granted, fun fact, the sa sound in movies is not even 100 years old at this point. We have five years to go until... Actually, maybe five or six years. It was around. It was around the late twenties when sound was starting to become starting to become a thing. So there. So there's that. And I find that. And I find that very interesting to see the big changes in history in movie history that that I get to that I get to enjoy that I get to enjoy watching. And also, I really another thing I really like is big culture changes as well, especially in move when movies like in the 1910s, 1920s, and 1930s may not are not exactly culturally correct today. But I am proud of the fact that we have changed as a human race from what we have thought back then to what we're thinking now. Just kind of tells me that that things have changed and things have gotten have changed for the better. And why do I bring all this up? Well, just a couple of days ago, I got this book, this really large book called A Thousand and One Movies You Need to Watch Before You Die. Yeah, with uh, Jack Nicholson's face on the cover. So the word die is... Um, anyway, so and it, anyway, so I got the book and I'm going through a couple of them and I'm thinking to myself, my gosh, they, these are a lot, of a lot of older movies that I have seen, but these are movies that have made big impacts in the movie industry as well as some interesting stories as well so i decided to put together this little thing called the thousand and one movie challenge where i go through the list of movies in this book and in order review every single one of them well i have to watch them first of course now just to give you a little heads up some of these movies are definitely classic some of these movies are good but some of them are not exactly good movies. Some of them are not even pol uh, politically or even culturally correct movies, but there's a, but I will but I will also I'll point, point this out that um, that I am that I am glad that some that some of these movies are that some of these movies, especially ones that were praised in in the beginning of the 20th century are frowned upon nowadays. And all and also I do want to talk about the cultural changes that these movies have brought out. Like for example, dialogue that these movies have come up with that we use today. Like for example, in um, was it Midnight Midnight Cowboy, where where one guy says, "Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here," like so, stuff like that. Or even just what, or even just with costume designs and what. What they're wearing on screen on on screen is now what we're wearing in real life after watching it. Like for example, the biggest cultural changing movie of all time would have to be Star Wars. Before before Star Wars even came out, movies were not really becoming, were not really becoming the big new thing as as they were supposed as they were supposed to be, Hollywood was running out of ideas, and then Star Wars comes along with all of this inspiration and in. And people who are inspired by it, and that changed the changed the way that people have seen movies from then on. Then movies started movies started to get technologically better, and movies were starting to make a whole lot of money. And also, and also when after Star Wars came out, that's what all that people would talk about. People would 
People would buy people would buy certain items from stores if they have Star Wars' name on it. People would also bring it bring Star Wars into their own movies because that's how big of a culture change that Star Wars was. That's history that I find absolutely fascinating. And also I gotta love the fact that if you go through a lot of decades of mo of movie watching, you would notice that even in movie even in movies that there are there are big things that the movies were doing that was popular at the time. Like for example, in the 1960s, if you watch all of those movies, you would notice that there is a lot of musicals that came out at that time. So musicals were a really big thing, really big thing at the time. And also when you look at the 1980s when sci-fi was starting to become a really big thing. And here's another and here's another fun interesting fact. In the 2010s, just, you know, just the recent decade, the biggest thing that came out at the time was superhero movies. So in other words, that trend is still happening today. So I decided to start up this little challenge where I would review all the movies that is in this book and put them on YouTube. I'm going to challenge myself in order to do that. And I hope you guys would... I hope you guys would come by and support me in doing this. I'll put up a new playlist called the 1001 Movie Challenge. I would really appreciate your support. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share my videos as much as possible so I can finally get monetized, so I finally can get monetized and challenge other movie reviewers of the same challenge. And I'll see you in the next video.